In this exercise, I would like to demonstrate how UCS can be used as construction plane to create profiles on various phases of an object. We will also see the various methods of extrusion. So I would like to create a rectangle first using the rectangle command. I'll pick my first corner here and the opposite corner here. Then I'll give extrude uh, this object through a certain distance. Uh, I'll just pick to specify the height. And I'll go to viewpoint and I'll generate a left front top oblique view by giving minus 3 comma minus 2 comma 1. Now I would like to create a circle right on the geometrical center of this face. So since circle is a profile I should align the UCS on this face. So I'll change my color to a different color then I'll go to UCS command and uh, you can either uh, pick a point over here to align the UCS because the dynamic UCS is on or else you can go to the various options of UCS command to align the UCS here. So I'll go to three point option. I'll pick my origin here, X direction here and the Y direction here and the UCS is aligned here. Now I'll draw a circle right at the geometrical center of this face. So I must make use of point filter. So I'll shift right click and I'll go to point filters and I'll take dot X off mid of this edge and dot Y and Z coordinate of mid of this edge and I'll pick to specify the radius and I'll just give offset and I'll give a small offset distance by picking two points on the screen. You can also give a numeric value. Uh, I'll pick the object as well as the side. Now I have got a copy of the circle inside. Now I'll extrude the circle, these two circles through a certain distance. Uh, the, I'll just pick uh, the extrusion height. Uh, then I'll give sub subtract command uh, to subtract uh, the outer cylinder then give an in enter, then select the inner cylinder and give another enter. Then give hide to see the result. Now, since the circle has got curvular sides, so in order to increase the number of uh, triangles on the curvular side to see it as a smooth cylinder, I must make use of face address variable. And I'll give the maximum value of 10. And I'll give hide again to see the change. Now, I would like to create another object right on this face. So as I have done before, I must align my UCS here. So I'll change my color to say red and I'll go to UCS command and I'll take three point option and I'll align the UCS with the origin at the lower left corner of this face and X pointed rightward and Y pointed upward. Then I'll make a rectangle using the rectangle command and I'll pick the first corner here and the opposite corner here and I'll offset and I'll pick an offset distance and I'll specify the object as well as and I'll pick the side then I'll erase the outer profile since it is no longer required now I'll give extrude command and I'll select the rectangle and I must give a height uh, but uh, before that I would like to extrude the circle at, uh, at a taper uh, this rectangle at a taper so I'll give taper command a taper option then I can uh, either pick the taper angle or else I can give a value for the taper so I'll give a taper angle of say 20 degree uh, now it will ask you for the height of extrusion. Height of extrusion can be picked. So I pick the height. Now I have got an extruded uh, rectangle but it is extruded at a taper angle. Now this particular phase I would like to extrude further. So for that I must make use of solid edit command. So I will go to solid edit and I must uh, I can use various sub options in this. Uh, I can use phase. Uh, when I use phase I will be able to edit any or any desired face on the solid object or else I can go for edge option to edit any of these edges or I can make use of the body option to uh, incorporate any changes which will be applicable to the entire solid. So I will go for face option and uh, I can do various activities on the face. I can ex either extrude it or I can move it or rotate it or offset it. So I would like to extrude that face. So I must uh, give E for extrusion. Uh, then it will ask you for to select the face to be extruded. I have selected. I'll select this particular face to be extruded. Then it'll ask you for height of extrusion. Height of extrusion uh, can be uh, given as a numeric value or else you can just pick two points like this and I'll give a high, uh, taper angle. I don't want to taper this particular uh, face so I'll give the taper angle as zero there so it got further extruded. Now that face, yeah, so hence I have constructed such an object on this face. Now I would like to work on the top face. For that I must uh, repeat the same process of aligning the UCS on the top face. So I'll change uh, the color to say yellow, uh, then align the UCS on the top. So I'll give UCS three point option and I'll keep my origin here, X here and Y here. Then I would like to 
uh, draw a circle, then I would like to extrude the circle along a path. So for that, I must first draw the circle. Circle is the profile to be extruded. So I give circle command. I'll select the center and I'll pick the radius and I'll pick the radius. Uh, I'll pick a certain radius, okay? Now I'll move the circle through a certain distance. So I'll give move command and I'll select the circle. I'll move through a certain distance. Even all these values are arbitrary. You can give numeric values. Uh, now I would like to draw a path along which the circle is to be extruded. In AutoCAD, in path extrusion, the plane of the profile and the plane of the path should be mutually perpendicular. So I have drawn the profile already. Now the path uh, is to be created in such a plane. Since I don't have any points to be picked on this plane, I can align the UCS on a plane which is parallel to it. In AutoCAD, if you want to work on a plane, you can either align the UCS exactly on that plane if it is possible or on a plane which is parallel to it. Uh, since this is the case, I can align the UCS over here. So since these two planes are parallel, so I'll give UCS again and I can go to uh, previous option to go back to the previous setup then once more I can execute the same UCS previous option uh, to uh, get the desired configuration of the UCS because previously UCS was here now I'll mirror the circle because I need uh, just to get another point over here I'll mirror the circle so I'll give mirror command and uh, I would like to mirror about uh, this vertical axis so I've got the mirror image of the circle on the other side now I'll go to polyline option and I'll uh, start drawing the polyline from that center and I'll pick the next point here and uh, in order to define this point uh, I must make use of point filter okay so I'll go to po dot point filters dot x off dot x off center of this dot y off end of this that point is defined and I'll come back to uh, the center now I would like to create curvatures at two corners. So I'll go to fillet option, fillet command, and I'll go to radius option. I'll give a certain uh, radius, and I can go to polyline option of fillet command, uh, which will let me fillet this polyline in one go, uh, getting, and I have got curvatures on both corners. And now I'll go to extrude again, and I'll select uh, the profile to be extruded. Then I'll give an enter. Now I have a path option in this. So go to path option and select the path which you have created just now along which this has to be extruded. So you have got a handle right on top. Now I, I would like to create another object on this face. Uh, in fact, the various phase of an object is identified based on WCS. So I must take the UCS back to WCS by giving an enter. It has gone back to world. Now based on this uh, WCS, you know that this particular phase is the right phase. So I would like to generate a right front top view and that too an oblique view. So I'll give V point, so three comma minus two comma one. So I've got an oblique view here. Then I'll hide uh, to see the surface representation of this. You can also give region command to get back to wireframe. Uh, now I would like to create a circle on this face. So as I've done before, I must align the UCS using the three point option. I've got the origin here, X here and Y here. Then I'll draw, I'll take a different color. Uh, so I'll draw a circle uh, with the geometrical center uh, coinciding with the center of the circle. So I'll take point filters and I'll take dot x of mid of this and dot y z of mid of this. So I'll pick the radius. So circle is drawn on that face. Now this circle I would like to extrude to get a con. So I'll give extrude command and I'll select the circle to be extruded. And uh, I must give a taper angle here. So I'll go to taper. And the taper angle I'll specify as say 20 degree and uh, it'll ask you for the height. So the height can be selected by looking at the preview. You can just look at the preview and you can leave at a point uh, where you get the apex formed. So that height will be automatically taken. So just give a click there. Then you can give a height. So the cone is created on that face. You can just give zoom previous, zoom previous, zoom previous to get back to the previous view. That compl this completes the exercise. So in this exercise, we have seen one of the major application of UCS. Uh, the UCS in AutoCAD will act as a construction plane. And whenever you want to create any profile on any desired face of an object, just simply by aligning the UCS there, using the various options of UCS command, you can construct profiles. And you have also learned various methods of extrusion. We have performed a straight extrusion here. Then we have performed a tapered extrusion here. Then we have extruded a face with, uh, from this object in this direction using the solid edit command. Then we have also performed a path extrusion on this face to create this handle. Okay, all the best. Thank you.